Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. It's another paid request, this time from Eric. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or topics, reactions, commentaries, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, Eric actually wanted me to do a review of his short film, which I'll try to have the link down below in the info box, called Instant Life. It is a short horror film and pretty much long story short he plays a character who was part of a robbery and he grabs some money gets to a motel and amongst the money there's this little box about the sea monkeys doesn't know what it is flushes it down the toilet a bit time later he gets some water to drink but then I guess when it was flushed, it got into the water system, got into his mouth, and he spits it out with blood. Sees what thinks this tadpole-looking parasite. He's freaking out, so he goes out to a bar, like a pool hall, hall. While he's there, this creature grows and becomes a much bigger creature. And when the guy comes back to the hotel room, shit gets real. Uh... This wasn't too bad. Um, I'd probably say the his the the first short horror film I saw from him, the story was maybe a little bit more interesting. Here, the story I did is pretty simple. I do like the look of it. The look the look is trying to have that grindhouse feel to it and look to it, with the scratches on the film. And looked at like a film from the late 70s, early 80s. So I do appreciate the look. And there's some decent looking shots. For example, when he's in the pool hall and he's looking at his beer. He keeps looking at it. And, and it, it looks like that same tadpole parasite thing's in it. So he keeps seeing this. I thought it would be one of those things that every time he looked, he kept seeing it. So maybe like see it in someone else's drink. And then maybe he would see it like someone's doing a pool hall. And he sees it on the two pole. And he's like, what the? Or he sees it, he thinks the guy's going to hit it. And he turns, no, it's guy hitting a pool. But no, it doesn't go that far. It feels like a short film that would have been made back in the day. Back in the day of the 80s. Which to me is a, a compliment, I would say. Like I said, there's not much to do or talk about in terms of the story. It's, it's, it's a pretty bare story. The creature itself... It is what it is. You can tell it definitely looks very cheap. At least not practical, but it's very cheap looking mask. I, it would have been nice if the creature. Maybe if you never saw its face, maybe it would work. Or maybe if the eyes, if there was a way to have the eyes blink and move, that would have helped bring it a bit life. Does actually thought it was effective where you see the spoilers. Uh, when it cuts to, to the motel room, the motel room is dark, but except the bathroom, there's like this red light. I thought this brought a nice eerie feel to it. And then you see these three fingers kind of go up on the, the bathtub. I think seeing those little hints made it a bit more eerie. But then when you see the creature, like half his face, you could tell... You tell the, the, the cheapness of it. And also the 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 ending was a bit anticlimactic for what it was. It was the guy comes back and in a matter of seconds there's a creature. And then it hits the the guy's head, and I believe the guy is Eric. He's the, the actor. But I, I it's like the film was speeded up. So it's like, choo, 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 choo. and so because of speed up, it kind of like Benny Hill. 
now obviously I understand you don't want to hurt yourself and the there there's always a real thing of concussion and things of that nature I don't know if there's a way to make something breakable um, so maybe you make something but it's easy to break through so you know and just have more of an impact and maybe come out and he's bloody and crash into this but I mean I don't know how to do any of that so who am I to talk I don't know how to do any of that shit here I'm a tr that's the weird thing like here I am critiquing it's like I haven't made a short film I wouldn't know how to do any of this shit so what the fuck do I know uh, like I said I like the the lead up to the creature in terms of again the red light of the bathroom it's just the creature itself no disrespect to the guy who made the mask, but like I said maybe if the the eye was the eyelids, maybe if the eyelid was able to blink a little bit or something like that would have been nice to show a bit more life to it. Again, the speed up of the camera of the head hitting the wall, uh, it looked a bit funny. And then the guy's dead, and then that's it. I mean. There's really, I guess, there's not really a fight, there's not really a battle. I don't know why, I, I kept thinking maybe the creature will like see the money and then take the money. <laughs> like, like the creature, it grew to a full-size human, but then it thought as a human, and maybe stops, then maybe takes the money and, and leaves. <laughs> so now, that was a got the guy's human size, he got the human's taste and greed or something like that. And because it's a low budget, like the, the duffel of money, like he robbed a place, but the place probably had, I don't know, maybe five one hundred dollar bills. Cause it was like very thin. I don't know if the bat should have been stuffed more. And I don't know if you stuff it with straw or you stuff it with random pieces of paper to make it seem like the bag is more full. But the bag was about as thin as know, as this. Like the bag was about as thin as this. So, and there's like maybe like five hundred dollar bills. But the idea yeah, the rest of the bag looked thin. It's like what did you grab? You know what else was in that place he robbed? Was it just a couple? toothbrushes and stuff <laughs> and but I mean that's uh, you know or I don't know maybe if he had like another victim that shaped up the proceedings of the story like maybe uh, a maid or housekeeping or maybe a buddy maybe it's a beating to get the money he comes in and he gets killed and maybe like maybe a bit more of a fight between him and the creature Maybe I was hoping just a bit more. But I, I will say, Eric, no bullshit. I do appreciate that it has that look and feel of an older film. Uh, I do like some of the shots. This one interesting shot, I don't know how, if you see this, how you did this. Where you're walking and the camera's on the side... And it's like following you, and it's like at this angle. So it's not a straight angle, but it's like a curved angle, and you kind of walk in, and it's following along you. And like, okay, if it was someone following you, it seemed like they would be hurty, more hurty jerky. But at the same time, it's not just you, because your arm would be over here. So it was a very interesting shot. I actually would like to have seen more shots like that. I thought, okay, that's actually kind of a neat looking shot. Or again, I like the the idea of the guy seeing the this is like affecting his mind, so he sees it in the beer. I thought there would be more to that. He was seeing it in more things. Maybe pull out a cigarette. Like if he pulled out a cigarette and it's one of those parasites. Uh it makes me think, like the the French fries and the hitcher when he picks up the French fries, the finger. I thought okay, he don't pull out a cigarette. Or he does one of these, he's not looking, he does cigarettes, he puts it to his mouth as a parasite, 
and people look at them and it's nothing there. So either he puts them up, what the fuck? Or, or you know, sometimes how people get the cigarettes and then they do it with their mouth. Or he pulls up, what the fuck? You know. Or maybe you know, he orders French fries and he picks one up, French fry, and then picks one up and we see it's the parasite, but he doesn't. Oh shit. Anyway. But yeah, I definitely. Eric should keep it up because I would say I like the first short film more because like I said there's a bit more of a mystery story to it that was interesting but this was nice to, to see a step in creature feature and like I said I appreciate the mood and the atmosphere the feel of the older era of movies make it look like a grindhouse using I believe the credits said he used an actual motel So you can't do much in that motel, otherwise you get fucking charged a shitload of money. You break my shit, you buy. You're too loud. Uh, well, actually, the interior, I don't know where if the interior was just... He could have shot the exterior at a motel, but the interior could have been at his place. That's true. But I, mean, I like the idea of dealing with the sea monkeys, because that's the thing I remember back to the day of those magazines, where... You get kicked in the sand, you do this, or you want your sea monkeys, do that. I don't know, I guess I thought that maybe maybe be like a buddies. Like, oh yeah, I remember seeing these in a magazine once or something, or maybe I'm just thinking of a creep show when the garbage bin got that mag that comic book and the voodoo doll advertisements missing. But I do like the design of the box and the sea monkey says instant life, hence the title. And I said overall, it's short enough, it's not boring, and I do appreciate the, the direction of it. And Eric does seem like a bad actor to me. For what little you gave yourself, you didn't give yourself much dialogue. But, uh, I mean, better than actors that get paid in Hollywood. Some of them uh, <laughs> that I've seen. Fuck a little better than any Neil Breen film I've seen. I'll say that. You got more directing chops than Neil Breen. And he gets full-length films. So, that shows the fucking travesty. At least you know about mood and lighting. Among other stuff. Some nice camera tricks. So... I look forward to whatever more you got coming out, man. So, with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.